Anil Agrawal led Vedanta Group's plans to build India's own Silicon Valley have run into trouble. As per recent reports, the Vedanta Group won't get government incentives to make 28 nanometer chips. Vedanta Group, which was one of the first few to throw its hat in the ring as the Modi government pledged a $10 billion fund to wood chip makers, now might not get the incentives as promised. For India's plans to dominate chip manufacturing to come to fruition, success of the already announced ventures is crucial. But it seems all is not well on that front. Vedanta Group had applied for government assistance worth billions of dollars, and if reports are to be believed, it is unlikely to see that assistance request come through. But why? Why is the government likely to reject Vedanta's request? It is because the group failed to meet the criteria set by the government. So what's next? Because this is not just Vedanta's loss. Failure of a major venture to take off at such an early stage is a setback for India's plans to emerge as a major chip maker in the global market. So here's what Vedanta and Honhai, or Foxconn as it's better known, can do. They can apply for the incentives again. However, this rejection would mean delays for Anil Agrawal's ambition to establish India's first major chip-making operation. Vedanta and Foxconn, which is one of the biggest assemblers of iPhones, have no previous significant experience in chip-making and so are finding it difficult to get access to production-ready technology. This also underscores how hard it is to set up new semiconductor plants as massive complexes that cost billions to build and require very specialized expertise to run. Reports further say that the central government may soon ask Vedanta to submit a new application for financial support to make 40 nanometer chips and give a revised capital expenditure estimate. Such a bid could be considered after New Delhi reopens the application process for incentives. As so far, the push to lure prospective chip makers into the country has resulted in little success. Vedanta had previously submitted a capital expenditure estimate of $10 billion to the government of India.